I was just asked a really interesting question about resampling best practices and whether you get better results if you were resampling, for example, from a one meter LIDAR data set up to a 100 meter um, elevation data set. If you should stair step and resample, um, for example, from one meter up to 10 meter, 10 meter to 50 meter, 50 meter to 100 meter, or if you'll get better results if you just do it all in one go and resample from one meter to 100 meter. Now, ARC does this um, if you're combining rasters of different resolutions, it will resample for you behind the scenes, um, always resampling to the coarsest resolution in your model. But of course, it's better to deal with this up front and know that you're making the um, rasters you know, concurrent um, as well as matching your cell sizes. Um, so I was a little bit surprised by the results, but I guess they also in a way make perfect sense. Let me lay out what I have, you know, my, my rabbit hole for the last half hour. So I started with the one meter LIDAR data set of Manhattan. This is New York City, Central Park is here. It's been cleaned, it's a bare earth uh, DEM. And in one instance, I resampled up to 10 meters and then resampled again that 10 meter up to 50 meter and then took that 50 meter data set and resampled to 100 meters. Um, and then separately, I resampled this straight to 100 meters. So I've got these different elevation data sets. We don't really need the in-between one here, but I just wanted to show you the process. Um, and then, of course, we're looking at the hillshade. Then what I did is I differenced the uh, resampled data set that I did in one go, and I subtracted the, the uh, resampled 100 meter raster that I did in, in stages and ended up with a DEM of difference that shows the difference basically between those two resampling techniques. Um, in both cases, I used bilinear interpolation the whole way through. Now, the range of values isn't quite this um, extreme. The biggest positive difference, the biggest gain or positive difference between them, um, meaning that uh, the one I did all in one go was 21 meters higher, had cells that were 21 meters higher in places, and um, 10 meters lower in some, in some cases as the one I did in steps. So what that means is that this, this um, resample that was done in stages has been smooth. It has lower peaks and higher valleys than the one that I did all in one go. This one is a more exaggerated um, surface than this one. Well, let's just look at this up close, this little area of uh, Central Park. So you can see there's a little lake here and then we've got a lot of change in terrain over one cell. Let's use the explore tool. The lake surface from the LIDAR is around nine meters of elevation. The um, all-in-one go resample is showing that cell has an elevation of 21 meters. So that's a pretty big difference between the two. Now the LIDAR has um, high values of around 25 meters of elevation. So we have kind of a max value for the cell of 25 and a min of around 10. So our uh, resampled all-in-one go data set is giving us an average for that of 21 meters, which is pretty high. The uh, stage-stepped resample is giving us an average for this area of 16, which is, you know, in between these two. So it does a better job of kind of coming up with an average. But over here we have such an extreme high, though, that if we try and sample looking at the elevation here across this gradient, it goes from around 10, 12, up to, let's see here, 19, almost 20. But in this case, we're getting an average from the all-in-one of 10 and an average from the stair-stepped one of around 17. So you can see how smooth these two are. If you look over here, they're both 16-ish, 16, 16 to 17. So we've really smoothed, smoothed this out where 
the all in one go is showing 10 and 21. So we're getting a lot of jumping around. Doing it in stages makes the most sense or it's gonna give you the best results. Um, yeah, I think it'd be a whole different question with uh, categorical data. And when I have extra time, that's what I'll experiment with next. <laughs>